Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another review. Today we'll be reviewing Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Um, so, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix is a came out in 2007. It's an action adventure video game. It's based off the film. That's why it has the same name, you know. Um, the game was released for Nintendo DS. Uh, PlayStation Portable, Microsoft Windows, and PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, Wii, Xbox 360, Game Boy Advance, and Mac OS X. Um, the developers were EA UK, Rebellion, Rebellion Developments for PlayStation Portable, Visual Impact for Nintendo DS and Game Boy Advance. Are you serious right now? Yeah, I am serious, thanks. Uh, and EA Romania for mobile. The publishers were Electronic Arts uh, and EA Mobile for the mobile games. So yeah. Um, basically, it's uh, the story is pretty much well, the same great. thing Thank as uh, the book. Maybe some 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 things are missing, uh, but still the game. The game's sandbox style uh, provides the player with an open environment. It means that the player can go around parts of Hogwarts freely, not just on a mission or anything, you know, or a quest. But yeah. Um, it is important. It's always important. Uh, so the it came out for you, Europe, in 2007, 29 June. Uh, it was a good game. It, the graphics were awesome and everything. Um, the aggregate score was uh, for PC was. We can use the invisibility cloak, but it's still getting difficult to maintain a proper. <laughs> the aggregate score for PC was thirty six, and for Wii it was ninety six. So it's pretty pretty awesome, you know. Um, I do believe Game Zone and Game Trailers put it at 810 review scores out of 10. So, you know, it's pretty it was a pretty it was a pretty awesome game. I mean, Psycho played it, not me, but still I played it. I played all Harry Potter and they were amazing. Like this, you know, the graphics. Order! Really, and um, I also know that in an interview with MTV about this game, the lead designer was Chris Roberts, um, described the game as uh, a heavy input by Rowling. You know, the game is actually basically a feature of um, wizard games such as uh, Gobstones and Exploring Snap. Which were created by the developers and later developers and later confirmed by J.K. Rowling himself. Um, Another one? Oh, nice. He also stated that uh, he had an input over some of the game's content. J.K. So uh, you know, some things may be different than than in the in, in the movie and anything like that. But still, it's a pretty nice game, you know, given the fact it was released for so many platforms and in so many states, continents. So, um, what okay, I believe you also have in this game a wizard chest and wizard chest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you also have a few various missions to complete yeah, which follow the storyline of the film such as the recruit such as recruiting uh, yeah, Dumbledore's sorry. army members or creating ha havoc when Umbridge is made headmaster head so uh, that's one of those things and um, uh, did I leave anything out I believe I did not it I would recommend it to you guys to play this game and um, it is very good, very good to play. Um, and I think we are now running out of time, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we got about 10 seconds of video left. So, guys, um, if you decide to play it, play it. You can get it on old games, oldgames.org. 
and it is a fantastic thing. Please try it out. Okay, okay. Bye bye and see you in the next review.